Hey, what's going on everyone? Ethan Ader here with Horizon Hobby, and in this video we are going to be unboxing the Habu SS 50mm EDF from eFlight. Now this is an intermediate sport jet. It's honestly a really good beginner jet with the safe technology, but it's also really fun for intermediate and experienced flyers just because of its sporty design. You can do a lot of aerobatics with it, so I'm really excited to see what this jet can do. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this jet unboxed and assembled. Okay, so sliding the contents out of the main box, you will see that everything's really nice and organized. You have your main wing, your main fuselage, you have your elevator, and you also have your hardware bag, which contains your wheels and the screws that you need to assemble this model. Now, on the underside, you will see that you have the manual. I definitely recommend giving that a read through since it explains to you the setup based on your computer transmitter, your spectrum transmitter. It will also explain to you how to assemble the model as well as some other information. So definitely give that a read through. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get everything laid out on the table. So with everything laid out, you can see that there's not a whole lot of parts and uh, very few screws. So there's going to be two types. There's going to be two by eight millimeter screws, and there's also 2.5 by 10 millimeter screws. These are both self-tapping screws, and they will be used to assemble the elevator and also the main wing. So let's go ahead and get to the first step of the build. So the first step in the build is going to be to slide the horizontal stabilizer onto the fuselage and it's pretty simple you can see that there's indents to where you can slide in the stab just like that and it'll lock in and you can use a phillips head screwdriver and you can essentially take two of the two by eight millimeter self-tapping screws and we're going to screw them right here and right here One thing to ensure when tightening these two screws is just to ensure that they are completely tight and there is no up and down play in the actual stabilizer as this is a very critical part in the airplane and you definitely don't want this coming off. Now the next step in this build is going to be to install the tail cone to the back of the jet just like so. Now the kit included some tape that you can use to make sure that this tail cone is secure to the tail. Now you only need two pieces, basically one on each side. I put one right here, and then the other one I put right here. The plane includes four pieces of tape, which is nice in case this ever gets popped off in a hard landing or a crash, then you can use that extra tape supplied to reinstall this tail cone. Okay, so the next part in the build is going to be to install the wing onto the fuselage. As you can see, there is a servo connector for the aileron servos which are gonna to connect to this bottom piece right here. As you can see, this whole bottom piece connects to the fuse just like so. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that servo connection is secure. And you're essentially gonna use those 2.5 by 10 millimeter self-tapping screws and a Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna be screwing them into five locations to secure this wing. One's gonna be right here one right here, one right here, one right here, and then one in the back. So let's go ahead and get that done. So yeah, guys, with that step complete, it looks like a jet now. One thing to note is that there's gonna be an extra of each screw, so don't panic if you see that you have an extra leftover screw for each step. 
it's just provided just in case you lose any screws. Now the final required assembly step is going to be to install the clevises to the control horn on the elevators. These clevises are attached to the control rod, which is controlled by the elevator servo. So essentially this is just gonna give us control authority over the elevators. The first step is to ensure that the elevator servo itself is centered and 90 degrees as possible. Now that the servo is centered, let me walk you through the steps in securing this clevis to the actual control arm. The first step is to take this little rubber piece right here and make sure that it is tucked all the way back. This basically ensures that the clevis part stays connected and doesn't separate like so. Now, what you wanna do is make sure that the control surface is lined up basically throughout the entire stabilizer like so. So we're gonna want it roughly around here. Now, you can twist this to either lengthen it or shorten it based on what you need in order to achieve this centering like so. One thing to note as well, there's also two holes in the control arm. If you want more authority, then you're gonna want the hole closest to the actual surface. Those who want a little bit less authority, maybe for beginner pilots, you'll want that top hole like so. I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the bottom hole. Make sure that both elevators are installed on the same hole on either side so then they are centered and doesn't cause any surface to be higher than the other. Okay, so the final and optional step in this build is going to be installing the landing gear. This is only recommended if you plan on taking off and landing from hard surfaces. Setting the nose wheel aside, we're gonna be focusing on installing the mains first. It's essentially an easy step. Basically, you're gonna locate where they are installed right here and right here. This little part of the rod is going to insert into the hole like so and then you're just gonna rotate the gear until you hear it snap into these plastic pieces, just like that. Now, you're just gonna go ahead and repeat that same process on the other side, like so. And your main landing gear is installed. Now, for installing the nose gear, the first step is going to be to take a Phillips head screwdriver and remove this screw like so in order to remove this control arm. Just like that. Once that control arm is removed, you can go ahead and insert the nose gear into this hole like that. Just let it sit like that for now. It's gonna be adjusted later. Let's take the control arm that we removed from earlier and insert the control rod into the middle hole of this arm like so. Once that arm is inserted and with the servo centered, we can go ahead and install the arm onto the wheel just like that. And then we are going to secure it with that screw that you used to remove it from earlier. And just like that, the landing gear is installed. And just like that, guys, the Habu SS 50mm build is complete. As you can see, there's absolutely no glue required and very little screws. So it's a very straightforward build, but hopefully this video was beneficial to somebody who might be building an airplane for the first time. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more flying videos on this airplane.